because there was such anger that was deep inside of me and I just felt like I want to pour as like a machine gun to the world and to everything that I wanted to pour into. So I started writing songs about anger, getting revenge, murder, suicide. For Thomas White, playing heavy metal music was an expression of the anger he carried since childhood. His parents divorced when he was a young boy. I was just, just angry. Something was just keeping me angry of, of the things that happened in the past. Maybe it's because my parents couldn't be together. Thomas bounced between his parents until he finally settled in with his dad. When he was a teenager, he started playing drums and was attracted to music that reflected his pain. I got into drugs, listening to heavy metal. That means, you know, Black Sabbath and all these band Metallica yeah. and all these bands were feeding this anger. He took out his aggression on the drums and eventually himself. There was times where I would take cigarettes and I would burn my arms just to feel the pain. There's times where I have cut myself, cut my nerves and my tendons. I'd smash my head against the wall, just pour out my aggression on playing drums. Over time, his drug use got out of control. After a night of smoking crack cocaine, Thomas's heart started racing. A friend took him to the hospital. I can't breathe. I'm having a hard time, and I may be overdosing. As this is happening, I, my mind was like flipping upside down. I was seeing myself as a, when I was innocent, as when I was a child. And it was like, is my life flashing before my eyes? Am I, am I, is this it? You know, am I going to die? He stayed in the hospital five days. The doctor told me that I'm very lucky to be alive because people that early having a heart attack from crack cocaine or, or drugs don't make it. And they told me if I don't stop doing drugs, I'll be dead by the time I was 24. That was a wake-up call for Thomas. He stopped using drugs and cut ties with his old friends. But he still needed to vent his anger. So he started his own heavy metal band and played at local bars around Michigan. I want to do this for life, because this is all I have. This is all I want. This is all I was created for. But Thomas wanted to do more than just play the local club scene. So he made a deal that he thought would take his band to the top. I always heard Black Sabbath and all these bands selling their soul for rock and roll, you know, for rock and roll, just totally rebelling against God and saying, I'll give everything to you. I, wor I worship you, Satan. I said, Satan, I dedicate this whole band to you. I worship you with this band. What I, I was doing is basically is, is an evangelist for anger, hatred, then he learned that the message of one of his songs had brought serious consequences. Basically, the song was about doing your own thing, um, dedicating your life to Satan. It was called Destined to Smell the Brimstone. There was actually somebody that took that song to heart and lived that way and was killed. And, uh, They were killed in a car accident. It humbled me, humbled me to where I started thinking, is this the right way? Is this, is this the right thing? There was someone who never gave up on Thomas. My brother is every week having his youth group pray for me. Eventually, the band fell apart, and Thomas was left with nothing. My band's gone, my music's gone, my friends are gone. Nothing is fulfilling me. Nothing that's fulfilling me. And my mind was getting flooded with murder and suicide. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy a gun and I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna do it. I have to, because I have nothing left. As thoughts of suicide swirled in his mind, Thomas had a talk with his brother. He asked if there was another way. And uh, he said, until you have the Lord, you'll never have peace. And I thought about it and it cut me to the heart. His brother also told him that God has a plan for his life. And I said, Jesus, this is the end. I'm through running. I know you're real. I confess. And I want to see the real Jesus. And I confessed and I repented. And I asked him in my heart and said, change my life. My body shook and trembled and instant peace came from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Thomas began studying the Bible and going to church. I had to go through some, some time of deliverance. Uh, 
But what it came down to is I needed to know who I was in Christ. I needed to know my identity. And my identity was, it was in Christ and who God created me to be. Today, Thomas has a wife and children. He still plays drums, but now it's to worship Jesus. He delivered me from the chains that were wrapped around my soul. Only Jesus can break those chains. He calmed the storm that was in my heart. He gave me peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. And my mind and my will and emotions picked up the pieces of my life, made all things new, and gave me a beautiful family. 